Hi, I'm Scott from Spring Hill Nurseries, and today on Step-by-Step -Step Gardening, we're doing part two of hardy chrysanthemums. In the first part, I told you you want to buy a hardy perennial mum, and you want to plant it at the right time, which is early spring. So that's what we're going to do today. First thing to think about is your site. You want your mums to be in a very sunny location because they're going to take all the sun they can get. And for spacing, you want to keep the mums about two feet apart so they can grow to their full width. Now, you will have dug a hole that's about twice the size of the width of the plant. I already did mine. So you take your hardy mum, pull it gently out of the pot, okay? And you're going to want to take the roots and you're going to do what we call fluffing. You want to get those roots out and get them so they can really suck up the moisture and the good soil and all that. So you're going to take your fingers and your thumbs here and you're going to just gently break apart those roots. Just a little bit, just fluff them. Okay, just get them out there, get them ready to get all that good nutrients. Okay, good. Now we're gonna set this aside for just one second. And we're gonna look at our hole here a little bit. I dug here in this nice site with good garden soil. But if you don't have good garden soil, you're gonna to wanna to add some organic matter, some good compost. You're gonna mix that in with your garden soil so your plant will really take off. Now to give it a little bit of extra boost, I suggest putting some fertilizer in. What you want to do is you want to pour in about two teaspoons worth for every square foot and mix it in the bottom of the planting hole with the garden soil. So now we're going to mix in a little bit there. We're going to mix it all up, get it real good. All right, that's perfect. That'll get our plant off to a good start. So now you take your plant with the fluffed roots, okay? Stick it in the hole. And from here on out, it is simple. Just backfill your hole with your garden soil. And this is a good time, too, to put in some of that good organic matter if you have some. Okay. And tamp it down a little bit, not too much, but just enough. Okay. Get in there. Now, I also suggest putting some good organic mulch around that plant to help soil, uh, excuse me, to help moisture retention. So put that around. All right. Don't forget to water your plant, too. So that's the, that's the key to playing the hardy perennial mum. Putting it in a good sunny location with good soil, okay? And if you don't have good soil, you can put some organic matter in and make sure you have some fertilizer in the bottom of that to really help it get off to a good start. Now for your care of the mum, in the early spring, when the buds start to come out, you just wanna pinch them, okay? And you're gonna to wanna to do that again in the uh, early summer and that'll help your mum get a nice, bushy plant. So that's it for planting mum. If you follow the steps that I outlined in this video, you're going to get beautiful, hardy mums that come back year after year. And your garden can look just like this. For Spring Hill Nurseries, I'm Scott Atkinson with Step by Step Garden.